right, here we are, back with some of the most condescending ring entrance music I've ever heard in my life. This guy, Tomer Shalom, is a piece of work, let me tell you. What are you talking about, piece of work? Tomer Sh Shalom is awesome. Yes, the former, former crossfighter heavyweight champion. Yes, well, he might be the God. greatest crossfighter champion of all time. And look at this guy, the rabbi. This guy's a joke. Listen to this crowd. Disrespect a man like Tomer Shalom. This is ridiculous, Hud. comes Rabbi Roddy Abram, a devious, deceptive man. Yeah! Tomer Shalom, the man. Someone's about to get Jude around here. And you, get out of here, you. I want nothing to do with you, buddy. Oh, Ronnie, how's it going, buddy? How you doing? Rabbi Ronnie Abram, get out of here, buddy. There we go. There we go. As if anyone has anyone else who, any doubts who I'm picking tonight. My money's on Tomer Shalom tonight. This guy. Unbelievable. And you know, the rabbi, he seems like a simpleton, but it's just that it's all a facade. He's one of the most devious men in wrestling, and Thomas Shalom should be ashamed of himself. Look what it says on the back of his jacket, you got Jude. He has been. Ever since he lost that title, he's been getting screwed over by the Crossfire Wrestling staff. Please. It's because he's affiliated with Jay Moore, and I think it's trash that, that you're going to just treat a guy so poorly because he was in Billy Oh, please. That's an announcement? That's the announcement you want to make exactly. to us? Exactly. That's the announcement you want to make to us? Exactly. Oh, man. Ah, uh, who cares? Come on. It comes total garbage You know right just here. who this is, Chris. Pure trash Chris LaPlante. That's who. Oh, please. Go time, Chris LaPlante. The heart and soul of Crossfire Wrestling. CWF. Here he comes. If that's your heart and soul, I'd sell it to the devil, Hutch. Here comes the Jamoke, the loser, go time, Chris LaPlante. Whoop dee doo. Tomer Shalom is going to annihilate this guy. The crowd loves go time, Chris LaPlante. I honestly think that our fans are drugged if they're cheering on this Jamoke. Tomer Shalom is the man, and there's oh, no way he's losing here. tonight. Tradition here when you guys talk crap about me, ain't that right? How about you tell everybody right now who's the goddamn best wrestler here? Uh, it looks like Jeremy Elliott's the best wrestler around here, buddy, and you're taking on one of the other best ones. Jeremy Why would you like, pull up your socks and get to work? Oh, please. I Be think quiet. Hutch doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Doesn't know what he's talking about. This guy can barely speak phonetic English. What are you talking about? Tomer Shalom is the greatest wrestler that Crossfire Wrestling has. What a bunch of nonsense. And listen to these moronic fans. You tap them. Come on. These fans are as dumb as Crystal Fly. They should be chanting, let's go, Tomer. What's going on now? Tomer Shalom wasting time. Go time, Chris LeBlanc comes in here all fired up, and now he's cooling down, and that's exactly what Tomer Shalom's trying to do, get under the skin of his opponent, let go time, Chris LeBlanc cool down for all of this crowd support so he can fight, fight him on an even keel. And to be honest with you, it makes me sick. Every match with this guy, he wastes time, walks around the ring. What are you talking about? It's, it's all a show. A, it's called a game plan, Hutch. And that's what Tomer Shalom does. He prepares for everyone he fights. There's no way that Chris Lafon is going to defeat Tomer Shalom tonight. There we go. Finally getting down to action. Both men in the ring. Let's see if we can get a wrestling match going here. There's our official bell. 
and it's Tova Shalom, the Israeli interloper, the Jewish jerk, in the ring against Go Time, Chris Laplante. Oh, it man. sounds like you're a little prejudiced towards Jewish people, to, uh, Hutch. It's called anti-Semitic, and I am not. It's just certain people in this world, doesn't matter what their religion or background, I don't like, and Tova Shalom is one of them. And a nice arm drag there from Go Time Laplante on the former Crossfire heavyweight champion. Tova Shalom is one of the fairest, nicest people I've met in my life. Tomer Shalom is a gentleman, he is a stand-up individual, and anyone should be proud to be associated with Tomer Shalom. As well, you're getting paid from the infamous five, so you probably got that written down somewhere here. Where? Is it on one of these pieces of paper? You said that perfectly, Chris. It was like a commercial. You're just making up stuff here, Hodge. And a you tapped out chant here from the crowd. And that is exactly what happened when he lost the Crossbar Heavyweight Championship to Jeremy Elliott. It doesn't matter if it's one or 50 people, a moron is still a moron, Hutch. And that's what this crowd is, a bunch of morons. Here we go, what's going on? Trying for a sharpshooter there. And for the second time, after a single exchange, Tomer Shalom outside of the ring, completely verklempt, completely overtaken by go time Chris LaPlante. You mean brilliant tactician regrouping, that's what he's doing Come on, right he's now. totally frazzled. He was not expecting go time Chris LaPlante to get this much support and to go at him so hard right off the get-go. Actually, any everybody's surprised when Chris, Chris LaPlante ever has a move because he's not a good wrestler. He's established. Former tag champion, Sexy Monkey carried that move. I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. Because you know I'm right. These two men beat the longest reigning tag team champions around and nobody expected it. Go time Chris Laplante showing time and time again that he has more heart than anybody else in this company. Heart, heart, come on. He is the heart and soul of Crossfire Wrestling. Like and I said before, if he's your heart and soul, I would have sold that to the devil a long time ago. Yeah, well, speaking of the devil, he's in there with the black heart, the soulless man here at Crossfire Wrestling, Tomer Shalom. Soulless? This guy's nothing but kosher. Oh, please. You know, Jay Moore may be devious, may be manipulative, and uh, uh, the custom-made man, Marcus Ryan, might be absolutely brutal in the ring and have no care for his opponent, but Tomer Shalom, that man is just plain evil. He's not evil, he's the man. And Tomer Shalom is going to come out tonight with a victory. All right to the spine. Vintage Tomer Shalom. I was going to say classic vintage Tomer Shalom there. Setting his opponent up for the steamroller, his finishing move. Tomer Shalom will work the back on an opponent all match, have them on their knees from the get go. Exactly, because he's a brilliant tactician. That's what Tomer Shalom does. I will give you that. And again, working the back. Again. Vintage Tomer Shalom. Tomer Shalom, no slouch, but tied up his boots. Exactly, you can't have Another a Another big boot to the back and spine area. Here we go, Tomer, just lay it to this clown. Come on. LaPlante fighting back, but in vain, a big knee to the chest. And Tomer Shalom, once again, dealing with his boots and in firm control here with more than enough time to do so. This is awesome, Hutch. We got Tomer Shalom in complete control. We got the rabbi slapping with Chris LaPlante in the face. Something I would love to do. And now distracting the referee with his boots. It was all a setup. Just so the rabbi could get a shot in on LaPlante. Brilliant tactician, like I said before. Oh, oh, in behind. And tit for tat. Now goes Shalom. Huge body slam. And look, LaPlante feeling the pain of his back. Ah, he's down getting with lucky. That. Come on, Tomer, come on. Time Chris LaPlante showing the pain, holding his back. Tomer Shalom's game plan, oh, has been working so far. And into the gut, the former champion. Trying to get the crowd quiet. Oh, so we can hear that. Into the other corner, he's gonna do it again. Yeah, come oh. on, Tomer. Well, I've seen Shalom fight many times. He's gonna take him to every corner if he can. And again, wow, and that back has to be on fire. Ah, and so does his chest. Go time, Chris LaPlante taking it from both sides time and time again. That sounds like Chris LaPlante taking a beating. That, that's right up his alley. And if this was a strap match, it would be over right now. Tomer Shalom, oh! Taking LaPlante to all four, four corners, but did not get the, the knife edge chop. Now it's LaPlante getting him right in deep on Tomer Shalom. Fight back, Tomer. Come on. Take it to this clown. You got him. You got him. Come on, Tomer. 
Laplan again. He's relentless with those chops on. Yeah. Oh, right to the eyes, come on! Excellent. And now the hair, come on, ref! Great You should do more than just admonish him. Yeah. Disqualify the man. Disqualify him for what? That was the first time Chris Laplan had anything going on in this match. And Tomer Shalom using illegal tactics to swing the pendulum back to his own advantage. Exactly the first time because Tomer Shalom is in complete control of this match. That's why Tomer Shalom is a better wrestler. And he's coming out oh, with Oh, big victory. spear in the corner, Chris. Tomer, you're better than this, buddy. Come on. And this time missing right into the turnbuckle. No. Oh, kick out from Laplante. That was pure luck. Tomer had him. I'm blaming the ref on a slow count for that one, Hutch. Jeez, Laplante's shoulder probably wasn't even down. What? And Shalom now parading the crowd once again in control here and constantly beating down on that back and shoulder area. And look at Laplante reach towards Tomer's ankle. He's been beaten to a pulp this match. This is glorious. Here we go, one more time to the gut. A spiking knee right into the esophagus area. It's all over, oh no. And Chris LeBlanc, come on buddy. Oh no. Slips the body slam a second time. Hold on the ropes. Come on, come, come on, on he's gonna roll him up. Oh, big elbow and Shalom <laughs> yeah. knew exactly what LaPlante was going for there and O'Connor roll up off the ropes and stopped him with a big elbow to the chops. That was brilliant. Oh, nice. and that's Super. gonna slow him down. More damage to the back. Tomer Shalom has just been working magic in this ring. Your so-called heart and soul is just getting taken down. Here we go. Some insult to injury here. Tomer Shalom going for a sharpshooter. One of the moves that Chris Laplante is known for using. Here we go. You mean I've brutalize it because Chris Laplante can't do a proper Never seen shooter. Tomer Shalom use a sharpshooter or a scorpion death lock, whatever you want to call it. Make him tap. What's going on here? Laplante's got the leg on the opposite side. And he's going to reverse it here. What's going on? There we go. Reversal. No, don't let him turn you, Tomer. Don't let him turn you. Come on. And he's going to tap. No way. Oh, come so on. Tomer taps out to Chris LaPlante. Oh, this is ridiculous, Hutch. And a huge, huge victory for Chris LaPlante over the former Crossfire Heavyweight Champion. This is ridiculous. Tomer Shalom had this match. The wrong man won tonight, Hutch. The wrong man won. A well-deserved victory for oh, the heart and soul of Owen. Watch out, Chris. Oh! Yeah. Getting some redemption for the Jake Roberts show that for Dunville. That was massive. Getting some redemption back. Here we go, professional. Lay it to this guy. Lay it to him. Jackson Jarvis should be ashamed of himself attacking a man from behind who's just had an entire match here. Let's ring the bell. Come on, somebody get Jackson Jarvis off this guy. If anyone deserved to get attacked after the match, it's Chris LaPlante. There we go, professional. Oh, come there on. There we go. This is despicable. Another good friend of mine, Jackson Jarvis, doing what needs to be done, taking down this idiot. Another scumbag, another cad, another man paid by Jay Moore to take care of his dirty business, taking out Go Time Chris LaPlante. Where do you come up with this, Oh, Hutch? please. Everybody knows that Go Time Chris LaPlante is one of the members that create the armor, the chassis of Crossfire, and they just took a big chink out of that armor here today. The infamous five trying desperately to hold on to whatever power they have here at Crossfire. Armor? Come on.